Hey guys, I'm Michelle Marie. I am the creator of the Fit Mom to Be Pregnancy Workout Program, and I have worked with over 100,000 women that are pregnant. So today I wanna to talk about something that I get frequently asked, and that is, will I be able to lose all my baby weight? I know that that is like one of the biggest concerns that women have because it's hard to get in a place where you feel good about yourself, right? To be in a place where you feel confident. Like it's so much work before we even get pregnant to get in good shape, to lose those 10 pounds or 20 or 30 pounds and to get to the point where you're like exercising consistently and finally figuring out what it is that you need to eat in order to be able to lose the weight. So it's so hard to then start to see your body change and then when we're pregnant we see our body change so fast and it's hard to not focus on the scale right and to not be like okay well if I gained you know five pounds in five weeks and if you add that that's like 60 pounds and if I couldn't even lose 10 pounds how will I lose 60 pounds right like I know that that's something that you may be thinking about and so today I want to just go over some things that I think can help you while you're pregnant so that you can be able to lose your baby weight pretty fast and be able to get to a point where you feel like a fit mom, where you feel good about yourself. So the first thing is I want you to, to feel encouraged right now and I want you to feel hopeful that it is possible to be a fit mom, that it is possible to lose all your baby weight, that it is possible to not just get in good shape or get your pre-pregnancy pre body back, but it is actually possible to get in better shape. So I have two kids now, my kids are now four and eight, and I am in better shape now after having two kids than I ever was before. And can I tell you that I worked out so much more before? I just did the wrong things. I used to do like way too much cardio. I would do like 45 minutes of cardio like six days a week. I wasn't eating enough and so I was binge eating um, because I wasn't eating enough and it took me a while to figure out kind of like what to do. But even with the weight that I gained during my pregnancy, I was able to lose it all and flatten my belly. I know that like if you're pregnant right now, especially if it's your first, you're like how in the world will I ever get my belly flat? Like it seems impossible because your skin is also stretching so much and stuff. But let me tell you, it's possible. Like I have abs now. I never saw, I ne like I had a flat belly for a long time pre-pregnancy, but I never had abs the way I was able to get abs after kids because you get like this like new sense of motivation and stuff. But so here's the deal. The, the number one thing that, that you can do before getting, before having the baby that will help you be able to lose your baby weight is just, it's common sense, but it's, you just can't gain a ton of weight. So, you know, if you gain 30 pounds versus gaining 60 pounds, it's gonna be so much easier to lose the baby weight because, you know, the baby's eight, nine pounds between the placenta and the blood and the boobs and the whole thing, like, you may have like five, six, seven pounds to lose after the baby's here. And within a few weeks, if you're eating properly, you're gonna lose the weight. So that's why I am on a constant mission like every single day to encourage you and motivate you and challenge you to not pile on the pounds, to do whatever you can to exercise a few times a week, to make the right food choices, because I know how detrimental it can be when um, there is so much piling on of pounds. It's so hard to lose it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie because I talk to pregnant women on a daily basis. I get emails and messages from women on a daily basis telling me how much they're struggling because they gained so much weight during pregnancy and now it's like, five, six months later, and um, they can't lose it. Hey Jade, hey Andrea, hi Zena. Um, so I know it's hard because when you're pregnant, you're like, oh my gosh, but I'm so tired, oh my gosh, but I don't feel good, and I'm nauseous, and morning sickness, and I don't have energy, and I'm running around after my kids, and I don't have the time, but I can't tell you enough how much it's worth it 
right now, like all you can do is think of excuses because that's like the, the place that you're in and I get it because I've been there, but you just have to flip the switch. You just have to change your mindset and you have to know that it's gonna be work, that you're gonna have to make a little bit of sacrifice, but that if you do, it's gonna be so worth it. And so here's the good news. It's a sacrifice because you may have to wake up a little bit earlier to get some workouts in. You may have to take a little bit of extra time to prep some good meals or it makes, you know, it takes a sacrifice to say no to the pizza and yes to the whatever. But what I can tell you is that even with just three workouts a week, you will see huge results. Like I have girls that do my free pregnancy workout challenge and they're like, I can't believe after just two workouts, I feel better already. I can only imagine what will happen after two weeks. Like imagine that. Um, Jade says, how often should we exercise? I'm 26 weeks and I gained 13 pounds. I'm super happy about that. I eat, I'm hungry. Okay, that's great. Um, how often should you exercise? Anywhere from three to five weeks. Everywhere, anywhere from three to five days, Jade. Um, my pregnancy workout program is three days a week because um, resistance-based workouts is like the best kind of workouts you can do. And you really don't need to do more than three days. In three days, you can get your whole body work it really balanced and effectively. Actually, that's all I do now that I'm not pregnant. Three weight workouts a week, and then sometimes you can add in like two 20 minute cardio workouts, which is why I'm always like, you gotta do it, you gotta make the effort, because what's like three 30 to 40 minute workouts a week? That's nothing when you can think about like how much better you're gonna be off when you have that baby, like how much easier it is gonna be to be able to pile to be able to reduce all that body uh, baby weight. It's just, it's, it's priceless and it's so hard to think about it when you're in the moment because you don't feel good and because when you're pregnant you're so tired, but it's so, so worth it. Also eating, like the whole eating thing is so important. Nutrition is everything and I know, I know the mindset because I've been there and I've worked with over 100,000 women. So I know that like, you know, as women, we're always on this mission to like, to, to, to be in better shape, to lose weight, to have a flat belly, right? To like feel confident and whatever. So we're always like on this diet or we're always on this like trying to eat better or not eat that. So finally you're like, ah, I'm pregnant. I don't have to suck my belly in. I don't have to like look a certain way because everybody knows I'm pregnant. And so it's kind of like a relief and like a time to be like, oh, well, I can just eat for two. And finally, for the first time ever, I don't have to worry about what I eat. And so it's so easy to get into that mindset of eating for two. But you guys, it's so not worth it. It's so not worth it. Ready to get this baby weight. Oh, five weeks postpartum, awesome, Alyssa. Are you doing my BBAPP, Alyssa, my uh, postpartum program? Recommend any meal. Kendra, okay, so like, you should eat a, a protein, a healthy carb, and a vegetable every three hours, okay? So, for example, um, a lunch would be like chicken and some salad or chicken and, and some vegetables like broccoli and asparagus and brown rice or it could be like a piece of fish with quinoa and Brussels sprouts. Um, breakfast could be, um, like I make these like oatmeal and egg white pancakes. Um, uh, so breakfast would be like a carb and protein. So, um, oh, post-workout, post-workout. Okay, post-workout, um, wait, let me finish with Kendra. So uh, breakfast would be, uh, like an oatmeal pancake. So I, what I do is I blend a little bit of oatmeal, a little bit of egg whites, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of banana, and I blend that all and I make little pancakes. And you can put like fruit or nuts in there and that's protein, carbs, and a little bit of fat. Or you could do um, like some sort of like healthy bread, like Ezekiel bread with some eggs, like an omelet or on, you know some scrambled eggs and avocado. That's like a great breakfast dinner, it's just a protein, a healthy carb, and a vegetable. Don't try to take out carbs out of your diet because you'll never be able to do it and you need it for energy. Healthy carbs are great. Post-workout, okay, so post-workout you wanna have protein and fast, a fast digesting protein, which would be eggs, and fast digesting carbs, which would be sugar, which would be like a fruit. So the best thing I would always do, like I, when, I, when I did my workouts at the gym, is I would take like hard boiled, like four hard boiled egg whites and like some pineapple. So that's great. Uh, what I would also do sometimes is I would mash um, a banana and some egg whites and a little bit of cinnamon and I would make little pancakes from that and they were really good. I added a little bit of cinnamon to it 
and um, I would just eat those post-workout. So I don't really like to have protein shakes um, during pregnancy. Um, I don't like all the added stuff, so that's a great post, um, post-workout. I have to look it up. I found your page before I got pregnant and come out again. Oh, good, so glad. Um, is all this info in your program? Yes. If you're doing the um, if you're doing the pregnancy workout program, the Fit Mom to Be, um, you get nutrition tips every month. And you also get access to the private Facebook community, which you can ask me anything. I'm in there like literally all day answering questions and stuff. And the pregnancy workout program includes obviously all all the workouts, and I ex there's videos in there for me explaining everything. The pregnancy nutrition, the the diet plan actually has like a full meal plan for like eight weeks that you can like just repeat every two months throughout your pregnancy and it just has like shopping lists and exactly how to eat you know what meals to eat how to pair everything together tons of snack recipes both like ones that are cooked and ones that you have to bake and some that you don't have to like just easy ones that you could just buy at the grocery store so yes uh, depending on which program you're talking about all of that is in in my programs um, but so nutrition guys, um, you can keep asking questions and I'll get back to it, but nutrition is so important and so it's just not worth it to get into that mindset of eating for two even though you kind of feel like, ah, I finally don't have to suck in my belly and I can kind of eat whatever I want because I'm pregnant and I'm supposed to be gaining weight. Like you just don't want to get into that mindset because it won't be worth it. I promise you there hasn't been one woman yet in 20 years that I've been doing this that hasn't said she regretted it because then it's stretch marks, then it's like months or even years or never to be able to lose the baby weight, and then you get depressed, and then there's, it's just, it's just not worth it. I'm not saying you have to diet by any means, but if you just don't think of eating for two, and you just think about eating when you're hungry, and you just make healthy choices, and you indulge moderately, you're gonna be fine. Like. I would have pizza, you know, on a Friday. I would have a few bites of dessert with my husband or my kid. You know, I, I, you can do all those things, like, but you just have to do them moderately. You just can't have that mentality of eating and just letting yourself eat whenever, okay? So what can you do in, so that you are put yourself in a position that you can lose all your baby weight super quickly, which is possible. It's totally possible. Like, I know that, like, there's so much, like, women shaming out there with like women who like put pictures on Instagram of like flat bellies like two days postpartum you know like I understand that that's hard to see when you you don't feel like you're in a good place but but that should bring you hope because it is possible now it's a whole of a lot more work and it takes a heck of a lot longer when you don't do the right things during pregnancy which is why my mission in life is to help you during your pregnancy to eat healthier and to exercise because I know that just those two things done moderately are life transforming for your body and for your mind because we all struggle with you know body and image and confidence even when we're not pregnant and I know that that pregnancy is like such a lucrative time to, to for all of that because it makes us feel terrible and, and you know I just read an email today from a girl saying that you know she's like I'm so happy you came up on my newsfeed because I was feeling terrible about myself I'm like ruining my relationship with my husband it's affecting my husband and everybody around me I'm always in a bad mood and I'm cranky and and it's just my own fault because I don't feel good about myself and I'm taking it out on everyone and, and that kills me because because I, I know what that's like and I don't want you to go through that, which is why you just have to work out a few times a week, three, four times a week, 30 to 45 minutes. I mean, what is that out of 168 hours in a week? And just don't binge eat, don't overeat. Just eat when you're hungry and make good food choices and that's it. And you'll drop your baby weight like that because you won't gain more than 20 to 35 pounds. Any, anything under 35 pounds is so easy to lose, so easy to lose. So feel encouraged today, my friend, that if you just, even if you're like late in your pregnancy and you're watching this now and you're like, oh, but I already, you still got time. I've had women turn it around who have been in their third trimester and just that last trimester just hit it hard with the workouts and started eating extra good and we're actually able to lose some body fat and we're actually to tone up and like made huge changes. So don't feel like you're screwed just because you're late in your pregnancy and you already like 
eight for two and didn't work out. As long as you have medical clearance, if you want to start now, it's possible, okay? So feel encouraged today. Diana says, uh, you're, you're having a hard time eating. I know it's so hard because if you don't feel good and you're having food aversions, it's really hard, um, but it's still possible. If you're in your first trimester, it does get better. Um, but yes, you can go ahead and email me at michelle at michellemariefit.com. If you go scroll through my um, page, uh, my feed, you'll see tons of like free resources and blog posts and stuff like that. And um, there's links everywhere to my programs if you feel like um, one of those would really help you. Okay, so have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.